I hear mm. somebody talk about the mic. There's only one phrase that comes to mind. Oh, I know I've heard. Go for graphic. That was because the time Apple was introduced in 1984, it was the only computer that had graphics. Yeah, they couldn't do Okay? At that time, on the Windows, no, Windows don't have for that matter. Okay? Maybe very early versions of Windows. But at that time, the premium word processor was word stuff. So, I think it's word stuff. I think it's word stuff. You do a 70 page uh, <coughs> dissertation or letter. And then when you open it again, 35 pages are missing. <laughs> That's where stuff. <laughs> okay, anyway. So the core Mac benefits for IT. It is not difficult to learn. It's very easy to learn. What is the proof? I have been teaching teachers from secondary school. Okay? And if you can teach a teacher from a secondary school how to use an apple, that proves the machine is easy to use. It doesn't prove I'm a fantastic teacher when you <laughs> it means the machine is easy to use. Okay. I can show you some video that the teacher has done later. Essentially virus free. In the wild, zero. No viruses at all. In the lab, maybe three or four. And of course, three or four columnists, the moment another virus, oh, another virus, to live, to live, to live, to live. But the reality is that I am four years without, actually not four years, about six years now, without virus on my power book. Okay. Unix stability. Unix is the core of Mac OS X very stable, can go on and on. And for your information, this PowerBook has been on for two weeks already without being switched off. Book up, then guna can sebagai handphone. Just on, open it, use, not going to use, close and put it back. Security. Okay. There is a study done. If you take a notebook or a Windows desktop, you plug into a network and you open that network to the internet, that means no firewall, nothing in between. It will be compromised in 20 minutes. Mac, on the other hand, will not. In fact, somebody <laughs> did a study. He used a Mac Mini, the cheapest Mac, uh, what my friend called the Tupperware Mac. Mac. They plugged to the network, it issued a challenge. At last come, it was 38 hours. Then his company said, take it down, you are getting us bad publicity. <laughs> okay. Now, Apple makes the software, not to say makes, nah. they develop the software and they develop the hardware together. So it works well with one another and it becomes very reliable because we don't use component that we find in the drain somewhere, which is to say Apple doesn't lie. Okay? And we have a unified desktop environment because even though it's a unique space operating system, the Unix part is very well hidden away from the user. And when you see some of the applications later, I would like to share that with you. Okay? So it's easy to learn. What do I mean? It's free BSD. It gives you a rich command line environment. Gives you all your standard open source tools, Perl, Python, PCL, PCK. All these tools come with Mac OS X. We give you VI, we give you VIM, we give you Eco. All this is in the basic distribution of Mac OS X. Alright, just to show you the command line interface, I'll just uh, briefly go into my demo and show you the command line interface. So let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, this is my terminal. So I can type ls or ls dash al, and that shows you my root directory, which is the same commands what you type in Unix. If you type in talk, you find you have a process list. Okay, of all the processes running. Control C to stop. Okay, now this is to show you the integration between the command line and the user interface. I want to delete this file in the command line, but I don't know the path. rm dash r and the path is put there for me. Beautifully integrated. Okay. You want vi? And give you vi. You want pico? And give you pico. X, VI, if you have VI. Okay, except that I never remember the dot command to close VI. Okay. Okay. So all those tools, Sapa yang daripada dulu, like you know, at one point, if you ever have a Unix box, a Sun, Spark 5, or anything on your table, commands are the same, pretty much the same. 
a lot of the sources, you can get the source, you can compile because Mac OS X has GCC plus in the compiler and the command line application will run. So, why I say fewer virus and security hassle? We are using BSD. Now, in your experience, if you've ever used any other BSD, free BSD, open BSD, or net BSD, are there any viruses on those BSDs? Tada. So, by the same token, Mac OS X tada. Let me just show you one thing. This is my computer, la, more or less, just for today, right? Even though it's my computer, if I go into system, do you notice that there is a little icon there that means I can't write to the system. This is mine. If you buy a MacBook or PowerBook or iBook, is exactly the same. Even though it's yours, you bought for it with your own money or with a loan or whatever, <laughs> you can't write to it. Okay? Because the computer says certain areas you can only go in if you have the permission to go in. Even though it's your computer. Kalau you sendiri dia tak bagi masuk, cuba bayangkan virus-virus. Itu orang luar. Lagilah dia tak nak bagi masuk. Okay? That's not the case for other operating system, but it is the case for Mac OS X. When you open a Mac OS X system, out of the box, tak buat apa lagi. Put it on the table and switch it on for the first time. Majority of the ports is closed. They tak buka. Okay, port 80, port 21, all these ports are closed. It's not open. Alright? And the root is disabled. Root account by default, when you create an account, you are just creating one admin account. Not root, not super user. It's closed. Okay. And we also have something called file vault. So to show you file vault, I'll create another account. Right? Okay, let's call this uh, Bosaya. Okay. And then uh, password. Uh, I don't want my boss to administer the computer. He can use the computer, but not administer. Sorry. Okay, so let's go in and uh, show off. Okay, so this is Firewall. Firewall is all for this account. So I'm just going to uh, log out from this account. That I think I can go to Fast Video Switching. So that uh, switches over to the Mosari on the account. Even though I have got processors running on the other side. Okay, so this is the boss in the account. Alright, so I'm going to go in and turn on firewall for this account. Pula. Okay, after the break, I'll show you that. For the meantime, I'm just going to show you the uh, system preference. So I'm logging up there, and then we go in and shop. Now, what FileWalk does is that the entire home directory for the user is kept inside of this image, which has got AES128 encryption. So even if you were to copy the, this image out, and you try and double click it, it will not allow you to enter. So that is the ultimate in terms of security. But people forget passwords. So what do you do? If you go back into Palvor and click on security, there is a master password, which only the IT department knows, that allow you to unlock user account. All right. okay. Rapid tested security updates. Whenever somebody reports an exploit, I mean to say Apache may have vulnerability or SSH may have vulnerability, Apple will release security updates using software updates that allows you to patch your system without a lot of interaction. If you have remote desktop and you are the administrator 
and you are in charge of all these computers. So you can actually push out that update to all the computers in the organization as well. And the last point is biodiversity. Gartner Group has specified that it is better for you to have different kinds of operating system in your data center. Simple reason being, if there is a root or worm or virus or exploit that hits one platform, it does not affect all the other platforms within that data center. Okay. So, just imagine, instead of you showing up only when the user has a problem, okay, you champion the user's needs. Okay. You help them do whatever they need to do. If they want to use Microsoft Office, they can. If they want to use Unix tools, they can. And rather than being an unhappy user, that means 24 hours complaining about why the computer has a problem, you convert them into fans of your department, into fans of the IT department. IT is seen as a positive feature. Okay? So, it's easy to integrate. Anybody who has an existing infrastructure, you don't have to buy new switches, new network hardware, nothing. It goes direct into whatever you already have. We have support for NFS, we have support for SMB, which means we can integrate direct into a Windows network. A Mac OS X computer can even become a primary domain controller, a master browser, and a normal client of a normal Windows network. So, kalau ada workgroup, ujian. You just set the Mac Mail workgroup ujian, dia akan nampak dalam network ni pun. Okay. And you can see this here. You go into file sharing, system preferences, and you can turn on window sharing. Right there, and then that turns it on SMB. And you can go into directory access. And you will see one of the things that we have in directory access is Active Directory. You can integrate your Mac straight into an AD interface, and you can have network log on, network home directories, and so on for your Mac. We are standards based. We don't invent stuff that only we know about. In fact, a lot of the time, we even contribute our code to the open source community. Bonjour is contributed to open source community, for instance. Okay. This is a case study of Vertex Pharmaceuticals. This is a company in the US. This is what Vertex does. Okay. They do drugs. Simple to uh, one sentence description. Okay. They support nine different operating systems and they have worldwide infrastructure support. That means all around the world. Why did they choose Max to begin with? Because when the guys at Vertex started Vertex, none of them are what you call IT literate. They know how to use computers, but that's about it. So they wanted a computer system that did not give them a lot of problem. Because if it gave them problem, they've got nobody to fix it other than themselves. So that's why they chose Apple to begin with. It started on Apple. And this is the cool statistic. 50%, half the people there use Macs. 90% of the executive installed this is using Macs. That means vice president and highest of okay. the Okay, And very popular in traveling department. Okay, Which is to say, those people that go around doing presentations, they love to use Mac and books. Because you can connect to a lot of different networks easily. And you want to connect to displays, most of the time it's very well supported. When I plug this into a projector, I tak payah tekan F9, F4 and all that. It just works. Try <laughs> uh, to for the job, and they do have multiple machines. These are Vertex applications. These are the applications they wrote themselves. Okay. These are the scientific tools that they have. And these are the normal day-to-day -day applications that they use. Okay. They have Apple Remote Desktop to monitor their apples. They have Citrix MetaFrame to do uh, application delivery. Okay, Photoshop for graphics. Typically, uh, key server. Key server is what you have uh, license code uh, management so that if your software is licensed, key server only gives out as many licenses as needed. 
Lotus Notes for email and group web, Microsoft Office, QuickTime Streaming Server. This is for delivery of video content. Antivirus, software antivirus. Interesting, they do use Lotus. <laughs> Wonder why. So this is what they themselves have said about Apple. They find the Apple equipment very long lasting. Some of the machines, Advertex, are there for about eight years. And this is borne out because if you can see a lot of organizations, uh, let's say for instance, I give you one case, uh, International School of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, they bought iMac G, G3, uh, about five years ago. They're still using it today. Okay? And uh, stability of hardware and software, the things just run. Okay? Very easy to network because it's standard today. Okay? Now, this is one of the things that they observe. They develop software, it has to be multi platform because it's a multi platform company. And they found out when they develop software multi platform, developing on one platform gives insights and helps to resolve problems developing on another platform. This is odd, but because you do things two different ways, deficiencies in the code on Windows can be exposed by programming the same thing on Macs and vice versa. So what that means is that the applications that they develop tend to, tend to run better on all the platforms, okay, rather than just on one. Okay. Interesting. So this is the summary. Max in science. It is better when we support the user community. We reduce the impact of viruses and bugs. We remove one single point of failure because of the biodiversity. We have better data security because inherently a Unix based operating system is always more secure. We have easy system management. You can use tools like remote desktop, even some Unix based tools such as Redmine in order to administer your systems. No learning curve because it's very simple to learn. Okay. So this is where you can go to learn more about Apple's solutions. www.apple.com slash ipro, apple.com slash sites. Now, if you want to go and look at some online seminars, that means you don't have to come here, pay for parking, and so on and so on and so forth. You go to seminars.apple.com. One requirement, you have to have a very fast line. Then you can watch some of these seminars online. The pianic wave, the charisma, you like. The last thing is product guide. Guide.apple.com. You're not little bit can quickly. I'm going to watch my online seminar now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>